Okay, so now we've cut our hole to match the fitting. And you'll notice we've got the gasket now. That was our template for the hole size on this actual fitting. And this goes on the inside through the fitting. And then the nut goes on the outside. It's a left hand, if I can do this right. And this provides a very firm base to mount the basket filter that goes on here. So we want to have a nice firm base. So we don't have a big enough pipe wrench, so we're going to do this by hand. And that's probably tight enough. So there we have a nice firm base for mounting our basket filter. What's nice about this is now the filter, which will clog eventually with leaves uh, and needs to be cleaned, especially during pollen season in North Carolina, it's at a height that's convenient for you to go in and just pull, shake it out, and put it back in. If it were up high on the roof, it'd be a little less convenient. So that's why it's kind of nice to have it mounted uh, within easy reach. Mitch, you have several pieces that you're putting together today with this rainwater harvesting system. How much do these pieces cost? Well, the tank uh, we got at a local farm supply dealer. You can save money by getting a water-only tank. So it's a little bit lighter, uh, but it does function very well. Black or dark green or another dark color is best because it prevents infiltration of sunlight. This tank was, uh, is a 550-gallon tank. It's uh, $320. Uh, and then this basket filter is available uh, for $25. This fitting, uh, this special fitting, you could go with an, another way with this, but that's about another $25. And then the pump that goes in that we'll talk about later, that's a $340 pump. The reason I like that pump is because it has an on-off switch that's regulated by the pressure demand on the line. You can keep it plugged in all the time, it shuts itself off, and it also has a run dry feature. It turns itself off when it's dry. So basically we're talking about uh, less than $2 a stored gallon, which is a real nice price if you do it yourself. Okay, Mitch, well that's good information for the homeowner. Now, is this something that you believe that most homeowners could put together themselves? If you're uh, handy and have worked outside, uh, can maybe do uh, home repairs, uh, know a little bit about plumbing, uh, I think that that answer is yes. Uh, mm -hmm. You wouldn't have any problem doing this, and that's what this series is all about, is try to, to help the do-it-yourselfer that maybe want to put one of these things together that hasn't done it before so we can show you a few tricks. Great, and of course there are professionals out there that can also put these things together and at the end of the day today we're going to have a 550 gallon tank that this homeowner can use uh, collecting rainwater and using it for gardening. Thank you Mitch.